please welcome back to the show the very charming Alan Cummings. Hello. Hi. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. <laughs> Belated happy birthday. Thank you. You're, what, what day are you? The, Mon uh, the 27th. Monday the 27th. That's my father's birthday. Is it really? Yes. Aquarians. Do, yes. Do you ever finish a sentence? <laughs> <laughs> they, they have a tendency that, to drift off. Oh, my mum's the opposite. She just, like, speaks all the time. <laughs> she reads me. If she was here, she'd be going, oh, yes, on-air questions. You're obsessed. <laughs> are you into those reality shows? Oh, I am. Yeah, I think you just are? as a fool. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I really like that one. And I like, um, well, I like those gardening ones, you know, where like people, like someone goes away for a couple of days and their partner gets all these people in with trucks and stuff and changes their garden and then they <laughs> come home and they cry. I love those. <laughs> and, uh, and also I like, um, well, I think eventually, no, everyone in America is going to have been on a reality program, so they won't right. be, they'll kind of cancel themselves out. Right. And that, so I'm waiting for that to happen. But now, what's the other one I like? Uh, the back. What about Joe Millionaire? Oh, I've not seen that, but I'm fascinated by it. I know. The man made, only makes $19,000 a year. Right. And, and he's a, on a construction worker, and they're saying that's wrong, that most construction workers make more than that. Oh, well, then that's, then he's an extra bad construction that's what worker, I think, yeah. too. <laughs> yeah. And then all these girls, and then the butler said he didn't. He would have known he wasn't really a millionaire because he was, like, drooling when he was looking at a picture of a Mercedes in a magazine. Right. <laughs> I think he looks so not like a millionaire, but, you know, whatever. I think he looks like Jethro from the Beverly Hillbillies. <laughs> Is that the, the hunky one? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hold it that way. Yeah. So you're excellent in Nicholas Nickleby. Thanks very much. Excellent. Yeah, it's a good part. Doesn't matter. Yeah, it's small but perfectly formed. <laughs> And, like uh, so many good things in life, Alan. Yeah. <laughs> I can't wait to see X Men too. Oh yeah, that's quite scary. All right, what's your look at him? That's your character. Yeah. Look I at know, you. Look at me. Now, how many hours would it take? What's your character's name? He's called Nightcrawler, and he. Uh, he's, uh, he, he looks a little bit like your Spy Kids guy. Yeah. <laughs> Ear wise. Oh, yeah. He's a little bit of what do you get? The well, flugel. Like, there's the a name? whole uh, the floops. Floops. Floop, yeah. Well, this is like, you know, with um, Lord of the Rings, there's a big run on fa uh, fake ears over the last couple of years. <laughs> like, the fake ear manufacturers are like, yeah, we're in the money. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, he's uh, scary. Uh, uh, but he's quite nice, really. Really? Once it's you get quite, to know him? He's got a sensitive side <laughs> to his murdering <laughs> in the White House. <laughs> what? what um, yeah. How long did it take you makeup-wise to get oh, him there? Oh, well, right, three to four hours a day. We got, yeah, and then there was one day I had to have, when I... Like one You're like one went... hour short of Faye Dunaway. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. No, I'm no. not coming on the show. Relax. No. <laughs> okay. um, so that's not nice. But, uh, but uh, I, one day sorry, I did it Faye. for ten okay. hours because my whole body had to be done, and that was just like two. And there's two people doing it for that length of time as well, and they spray. It was quite. In, I mean, it's kind of a funny thing. You have to get to a strange sort of place in your mind to, to be able to let it happen to you. Right. To have these people poking. For and for how many days did you have to do that? Oh, tons. Like I was there like three and a half months, and I worked a lot. I mean. Right. Yeah, and, the and best days when I got into makeup and we didn't shoot anything. <laughs> Not. But well, then um, at least you could go out. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. Oh, do you know what? I got. I had a sore tooth, and um, I was like, we had a root canal, and and I. They made me, they gave me these drugs to, for the pain and then they made me wait till the end of the day and I went to the dentist in my makeup. <laughs> uh, uh -huh. I'm lying there like this, like, oh, big ears and blue face. <laughs> <laughs> At least I got my contacts out. Now, I understand you that you um, visited a nudist beach in Canada, <laughs> which seems like the most un-Canadian thing in the entire... Everyone would be like this, hi, what sorry, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's all right, sorry, sorry. <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry, yeah. I didn't mean to offend you, sorry. Sorry, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> yeah. um, No, it was quite un unusual. It was Ian McKellen's idea, because uh -huh. he was in the X-Men, it was somewhere in Vancouver, and he'd been like... <laughs> this is hilarious, Sir Ian McKellen was searching for this nudist beach for months, right? Because <laughs> he was there much earlier, he was really determined to go. So we w well, he went. Eventually, yeah, him and Nick, my boyfriend, and my dog, Honey, and me, we all went. And we had a lovely time. <laughs> everyone was very nice. But does everyone go like this, hello, how are you? Yeah, no, yes. no, everyone. I... And it's the, I was saying, it's the weirdest thing when you get recognised when you're nude. Like, people are going like, oh, there's, there's Alan coming. 
<laughs> but it was. It was just, have you ever been to one? I've ever been to a nudist beach? Yeah. No, when I was in Greece, there were a lot of topless women from Sweden. And I wanted to give money to the Communist Party of Sweden so they would never be allowed to leave their country again because they were all gorgeous and flawless. And they sat next to me on the beach, always. And I was like, get away from me. I had like my turtleneck one piece on. So. Um, no. But, yeah, no, it was very nice. I liked it, it. Yeah, and actually, um, Ian, uh, we went for a walk. This is the weirdest thing. He said, let's go for a walk. So I was like, OK. So I'm walking naked with Ian. He's got a little kind of one of those little hats that cricket umpires wear. That's all he's wearing. <laughs> and, uh, we, and there's like little stalls you can buy things. People come around with drinks and stuff like that. And then um, there was a hemp stall, of course. And um, there was a little necklace which said princess in it. And, my, and he bought that for my dog. <laughs> Now, your dog wouldn't. is like a big person in your life? Yeah, she's a huge, huge star. Huge star? What's yes. her name? Honey. And, I, and she's very talented? Very talented. She does impressions. Really? Yeah. <clears throat> what, what, has anyone else seen the impressions or is it just... No, I don't, you know, it would have to be a very special program that I would let her come on and do those impersonations. I don't, I, I don't want to overexpose her. <laughs> she happen to travel with you? You know what? She's just backstage. Well, maybe we could have her come out afterwards. Okay. <laughs> we'll be right back with Alan Cumming and Honey. <laughs> We're back with Alan Cumming and Honey is here. It's very exciting. <laughs> I, I, I <laughs> oh, you're Quite bored out of your mind. I'm sorry. Look, you are the cutest dog. Hi, she pumpkin. Cute, isn't she? Hello, hello, love. Okay, so, so you do, do impressions, don't you? Yeah, yeah, so we do the first impression. Okay. Okay, honey, sit down. Okay, sit, 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 sit. This is. You are such a stage mother. Shardy, okay. the singer Shardy. Your love is king. <laughs> da, 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 da. Number one. Second one, it says the, t the singer Tina Turner. Come here, darling. Come here. It's okay. Come on. There, look there. Ready? Come on, honey. I'm a private dancer. <laughs> a dancer for money. I'll do this. <laughs> and now we have, now we have Liza Minnelli in the movie of Cabaret. The nails are a clue. Divine decadence. <laughs> and finally. <laughs> Finally, last one. This is just of a prop for this one. Sit, sit, sit. Good girl. Good girl. This is Julianne Moore in Far From Heaven. <laughs> Good girl, hon. Oh. Excellent. Come here. I've got a pepperoni. Ooh. Yeah. Do you want to those one were of those excellent. Ones? Okay, so honey. she came up with these, and then you started working together, or how did That's this it, happen? Yeah. <laughs> but she wanted to do the duet thing, but I'm a bit busy. <laughs> Good girl. You are so cute. I like <laughs> Tina Turner. Tina Turner's great. Actually, that was that can sometimes be a little um, problematic, Tina. If she gets too, if we do it for too long, honey gets excited. <laughs> In a way. You are. You're such a clever girl. So you, you wanted to be a vet when you were growing up? I did for a while. I really wanted to be a vet. Well, can I give her one? Yeah. Okay. But then. Knowing um... me, I'll just be chewing on this in a second. <laughs> <laughs> like, mm. But then I wasn't allowed to take uh, biology. I had this really horrible biology teacher who was um, uh, just nasty and had funny um, eyebrows, and he wouldn't let me take biology. So you can't be a vet without biology. But I did once when I was little because we had sheep in this field by our house, and I had to give birth to a sheep because the. Uh, um, because there was a you sheep. You had to give birth to a sheep? No, you yeah, had to help a sheep yeah, birth. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Thank you. Um, that would be a trick, wouldn't it? Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> but I had to, yeah, because the sheep was having trouble having its baby, and so my dad caught him. Because I was like 10 or something, I had the smallest hand. So I had to do the. Oh! You don't ooh. It's nature. It's how no, we all got here. Don't ooh. You! 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 Banana. You are incredibly charming and funny, and please come back again. Give me your little hand to shake my hand. Thank you. Alan Cumming is a Nicholas Nickleby, which is now playing in theaters everywhere. Go see it and take your whole family. We'll be right back. Does she do anything to say goodbye or no?